Lord everyone, Brother Roop here. We are, oh, music's still going on. We are in the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 30 now. And Peter has just come to Cornelius. If you remember, Cornelius had his angelic vision, told him to go get Peter, two days journey. They went two days, got Peter, came two days back. And we are in Caesarea, which is in Israel, on the coast. Caesarea was a very important Roman seaport. Uh, it was not a, a Jewish seaport. There were Jews living there, but uh, it's mainly a Roman and Greek city. Well, city, I use that kind of loosely. It was a city back then. Today we would call it a town. Uh, it, uh, cities today are in the millions of people. <laughs> of course, they didn't have that back then, but uh, it, call it a town. Caesarea, it was a, it was a Roman, had a, uh, uh, the Romans built a man-made port there from historical accounts. It's a very nice port. And the town of Caesarea, because it was a port city, was very wealthy. And so Cornelius was a centurion, He was a, which is a com Roman army commander who commanded a hundred men. And his job was to keep peace in Caesarea. Keep the robbers out and uh, control the people inside. So that was his job. He was highly respected. Everybody loved Cornelius. Cornelius worshipped Yahweh, or Jehovah. Well, Jehovah. Uh, Yahweh is for, is more. Je I guess Jehovah would be more appropriate. So Cornelius, let's read verse 30. And Cornelius said, four days ago I was fasting until this hour. And at the ninth hour... Now, the ninth hour was uh, 3 o'clock today, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, people back then started their time at 6 a.m. Unlike today, where we start our time at midnight. I don't know why we do that. 6 a.m. Uh, makes a lot more sense. So, the ninth hour is 3 p.m. And at the ninth hour, I prayed in my house. And, behold, a man stood before me in bright clothing. So this man in bright clothing was an angelic being, probably. And um, if you go back to the book of Matthew, verse, uh, chapter 28, verse 3, the angel, after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, the angel sitting in the rock, Announcing the resurrection was also a man wearing bright clothing. Of course, an angelic being. So Peter asked him why Peter, when he got there, he saw a room full of people, Cornelius' friends and family, and Peter asked, Hey, why did y'all send for me? Peter was curious. He wanted to know what the story was. And uh, Cornelius told him, Hey, this guy this guy, I was praying and fasting and the uh, this angel appeared. Yeah, that's just a uh, that's a good example of what fasting will do. Fasting gets God's attention. When you fast, God works on your behalf. You know, when when you fast, God moves. That, that, that you're telling God that you're serious and that you're committed. And God respects that. God respects a man or a woman who fasts. Uh, if you want God to do something in your life, fast. You know, go without food for a while. It's actually pretty healthy for you. Actually, a lot of secular people are fasting these days <coughs> because of the health benefits. So fasting is actually uh, pretty healthy. It purges your body of uh, poisons. So, it's not uh, unhealthy for you. It's pretty healthy for you. People just don't, people don't like to fast just because 
Well, we're fat and lazy these days. And uh, we definitely don't have enough persecution in our lives to uh, get us committed. But uh, Cornelius knew the secret. He fasted. Got God's attention. And here comes Peter, giving the message of salvation. And we're going to read that. God bless you.